everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Today I've got a really great project for you if you're one of those paper crafters who gets short on time. I think that pretty much describes each and every one of us. Well, today I've got a project for you on how to use a package of our designer series paper to create 72 cards. Yes, you heard that right, 72 cards. And this is really a fantastic project because I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can turn it into a gift. I've got a gift bag. I've got six really great cards created, oh my gosh, so, so fast. But what's awesome with this, you can make these up. You're gonna have 12 gifts ready to go. Oh my heavens, how awesome is that, 12 gifts? So let's get going with how we're gonna create our fabulous little gift package of pre-made cards. So let's first talk about the designer series paper we're going to use. This is the Painted Blooms collection. Absolutely love this. Before I go too far, I did want to comment one thing about this paper. It was actually hand painted by one of the artists at Stampin' Up! Beautiful, has a real natural watercolor look to it. I love it. And um, of course, all of our designer paper is double-sided. When we're getting ready to cut with this paper, something you have to keep in mind is the direction we're going to cut. Um, these four sheets here, the pattern is very random. Don't worry about it. Cut it any which way you want. You're good to go. But these two pieces here do need to be cut in a certain way. Uh, this one, um, because of the direction the tulips are going, we want to cut it a certain direction. So I'm going to actually use, um, uh, you know what, actually I think I can cut both of these at the same time on our stamp and trimmer. So I'm going to put, um, so that the direction of the tulips are going the same way. But what I want to do is I want to flip it around so that uh, my stems are down here at this end. And then we're going to trim this down. By the way, these measurements I'm going to give you, you're going to do this to all six sheets. Whoops, I've got cardstock flying everywhere there. All right, so what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is I want to take this and cut this down to 10 and a half inches. So we're going to be cutting half an inch or one and a half inches off. So I've got that set right there. Remember, there's your scoring blade. Get that out of the way. And we're going to cut. As I said, it cuts through the two layers just fine, so that'll help you speed things along. Now we're now going to take the 10 and a half inches. We're going to cut it down to five and a quarter. So let me make sure I've got that lined up. Go to five and a quarter. My little trick too when it comes to cutting, I find it best to push the blade up into the paper that direction rather than try to pull it down because it can shift your paper. We're then going to take each of these and we're going to cut it down to four inches. So they're going to be four by five and a quarter. We're going to repeat that with all of this designer series paper. So you can see there's all my tulips. They're all going the right direction, so that's nice. But on this bigger sheet here, you can see I, I definitely have some pieces that are, they're kind of going every which way. Now you may look at this one and go, geez, Connie, what am I gonna do with that? Not to worry, you can actually fill this in with a lot. So I just wanted you to see how that is going to go together. We're now going to um, go ahead and adhere all of these down. I've got six uh, pieces of Whisper White, or not, I've got six card bases in Whisper White. These have all been cut eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And we're now just going to take all of um, our six pieces. Again, this is to make one set. Um, remember, you're gonna be able to actually make 12, but we're gonna go ahead and adhere all these down to our Whisper White cardstock. Okay, so I've got all my designer series paper adhered to my card bases. Let's set those off to the side. We're gonna work on the tags. I have a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna bring my stamp and trimmer back in. Very simple, guys. We're just gonna cut each of these down to two inches, and we will have five of these when we're all done. Now that we have those Whisper White pieces, I want to turn them into a pretty little tag. We have three different um, scal or, uh, tag topper punches that you can use. I'm going to use the brand new ornate one, scallop tag topper, or um, just the straight edge tag topper. All of those are going to work. You can see it gives me a nice edge. We're going to repeat this with all five of our tags. Well, it's time to stamp those great tags. Now, on my original set, I chose the stamp set, the sentiment stamp, for you. 
But for my video, I thought, hey, let's try something different so we can get a lot of different ideas. I'm going to use the stamp set Banner Blessings. This is one of our new ones, and I've really been dying to get some ink on this one. We've got four great sentiments here, and so those are the ones that we're going to use. Our colors today are Blackberry Bliss, Pacific Point, and Rose Red. So I want to begin with my Blackberry Bliss ink, and so I've chosen my two cards that I want to put that on. I'm going to use the uh, thanks in everything you do, give thanks, and I'm going to take, this is that one that I told you was a little odd, not a problem. I'm going to do this one at an angle so I can fill that in. We'll stamp that right there, beautiful. Let me set that off to the side. Now we can work on one of those tags, and for this one, I think I'll put it down here in the bottom corner. I've chosen these two cards for my friend stamp, and then these are going to be in the rose red. Let me move these out of the way and bring in my two tags. This is where you want to have a little bit of fun. For instance, on this one here, let's say I wanted to take the tag um, up and down, which I think it's probably going to end up being more this way. So, let, oh, I'm all over the place. Woo! Watch out for Connie. Okay, let's put this one at an angle, like so. We'll ink up friend, but because I don't want friend going sideways, let's put it on our tag so that it's straight, but my tag's going at an angle. That looks pretty good. Let me set that off to the side. This one here that's going to go on my green card, let's see if it will fit this way. Nope, so we're just going to take it and I think we'll just go right smack in the middle on this one and we're going to be filling these in with some flowers in a little bit so that looks great there. All right I've got my final two cards and I've got two stamps left. I'm going to do both of these now in the Pacific Point and um, like I said you really just kind of have a good time with how you want your tags to go on. I think I'm going to do this one at an angle kind of like I did with that last one, but we'll bring it down here at the bottom so that looks great. And um, my very last stamp, which is the Shine. And let's see if we can get this one to fit. Nope, we're going to be going, oh, let's take it. I want that beautiful red flower there to show. So let's bring this one right there. Again, you can I'm now going to work with just some scraps of cardstock. I know you guys have tons of this. And I've come in with the Itty Bitty Accents Flower Punch. And what you're going to do is just start punching out some flowers out of that scrap, as many as you want. We're going to use these to doll up our cards. And you're going to do this on all four colors, Blackberry Bliss, Pool Party, Pacific Point, and Rose Red. Okay, well there's all of my punched out flowers. I'm going to take my stylus tool and I've got my pierce mat underneath me. I'm just going to give all these flowers a little push. You can also use the end of your paper piercer. You can use the back of a ballpoint pen, whatever it takes to give those flowers some great dimension. I don't know if you've seen this in the catalog, but this is our Painted Bloom Baker's Twine. This is a really nice, thick, very soft, easy to work with twine. What I did is I cut 16 inches, one of each color, and I'm just going to take those, fold it in half, and let's cut those in half so that I have six pieces. We're now just going to take these and we're going to tie them onto um, our tags here and just tie them in a bow, kind of use them however you want to decorate up your tags. Now that we have all our cards done, we're ready to come in with some mini glue dots and we can just take those really great flowers that we punched out, press it onto a mini glue dot and then just start to kind of come in and fill in, use those flowers any way you want. For instance, on this tulip one, Oh, I just want to use all the colors. They're so pretty on here. Um, I'm using the Pool Party instead of the Pacific Point. That was a little strong, but check it out. We're going to do that to all of our cards. All right, I've got all my flowers on there. They look great, but you know what? Those are just a little too naked for me. I'm going to come in with the Gold Glitz Dazzling Details 
and I'm going to just fill in the center of those flowers. Check out the wow factor. Kind of brings out the gold that's in the paper. Now this uh, Dazzling Details does need to dry, so I can just finish up the rest of my cards and then I can set these off to dry for a little while. That's okay, we need to work on the package that these are going to go in. All right guys, we're in the home stretch. We just need to make a really cute bag to put all of our cards in. You notice I have put them in our clear envelopes. I love these. It's just got a little peel away. So um, is that not happy mail to get that in the mail? You can put a post-it note back here with the recipient's name. These are fantastic. But rather than have this flap stick up, if you'll just tuck it down into the envelope, that way when the recipient gets it, they're able to work with it. Now we've got two different bags that we can use for um, our gift bag. These are both in our main catalog. We have a chevron or a polka dot. I'm going to use the chevron on this one. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we're just going to take our cards, tuck them down into the bag. We're going to create a very simple belly band using uh, the remaining strip, remember that half inch that we cut off of our um, designer series paper, we're gonna use that. <clears throat> All right, so there's my cards. We're just going to fold this over. You can fold it to the front or the back. I'm not going to adhere it down, obviously. We want people to be able to get into it. I decided I'd use that pretty yellow side um, of my designer series paper. We want this belly band to kind of remain loose. We don't want it so tight they can't get it off of there. So I'm just going to kind of lay that on there, keep it loosey-goosey. I'm going to take some snail and we'll seal that up. Now, now I wanted to decorate the front of this. So I have come along, I have cut out some uh, flowers just on some Whisper White. This is the Petal Potpourri. And I'm just going to lay these on. Let me get some adhesive here. Remember not to go too far um, off because we don't want it to adhere onto um, the uh, bag itself. So that'll kind of dress that up. Now down here I thought eh, it needed a little something. So let me share with you what I did. I took um, the friend, a friend loves at all times, and I added some of my little flowers. I'm going to adhere that right down there in the corner. And guys... With that, I've got a beautiful um, completed gift bag. Here's the other one I did. This is the one I told you I used the For You stamp and I added the flowers there. So whether you stamp directly on the bag or on a piece of cardstock, have some fun with it. Well, I hope you liked the project today. I sure had a good time making it. These are so fantastic to make up in advance. Have them on hand. And when you need that little gift or just a little thank you for someone, you got a really fantastic gift to give. What's not to love about that? And remember, you might already have a lot of this designer series paper um, stacked up, um, ready to use. If you're anything like me, I tend to hoard it. And, um, you know, you want to save it for something special? Today's the day. Today's something special. Let's get it out and start creating because you're going to be making those beautiful gifts and you're going to want to have those always ready for you. And if you don't have any of our fabulous designer series paper, well, one place, simplysimplestamping.com. Be sure to zip on over there. Check out my website. You can order right there um, up in the upper right hand corner. I've got an online order button making it really easy for you. So guys, thanks so much for being here today. I hope you found a lot of inspiration in the video today. Have a terrific day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.